Almost everyone who's experienced kidney stones agree that it's the least fun they've ever had. So, we wanted to brighten this topic by bringing you to the most fun place we can think of, the dog park. You're going to want to sit up and pound some espresso because kidney stones are the most common kidney disorder. But how does the body make these agonizing rocks that resemble petrified kidney-shaped dog poops? Well, when urine is highly concentrated, supersaturated substances precipitate into crystals. The crystals then snowball within the kidney, resulting in nephrolithiasis. Once a stone exits stage right or left into the ureters and beyond, it can be dubbed urolithiasis. When kidney stones are just sitting in the kidney, they're pretty much asymptomatic. Beyond that, presentation depends on the location and size of the stone. As they scrape their way along the ureters, they cause ureteral spasms and inflammation. This can lead to an abrupt and severe flank pain that may radiate laterally into the abdomen and down to the groin. This is known as renal colic, represented by this collie dog. Unlike peritonitis and other causes of acute abdomen, wherein the patient stays utterly still and shoots death rays from their eyeballs at you when you bump the bed, renal colic usually causes restlessness and writhing. Of note, very large stones can cause a dull, persistent ache when they become lodged in place, alternating with colic symptoms if they suddenly shift distally. As the stone voyages towards the bladder, patients may report hematuria, note this dog's red pee, dysuria, represented by the flames, and increased urinary frequency or urgency. RBCs are typically present in the urine, however, the absence of RBCs does not exclude the diagnosis. This dog's green-faced vomiting will remind you that nausea and vomiting are pretty commonly seen with kidney stones. On physical exam, your patient may be tachycardic due to pain or dehydration and febrile if there is a superimposed infection. Check for costovertebral angle tenderness, represented by this chihuahua biting big ol' rufus on the flank. Place a flat hand where the twelfth rib meets the spine on your patient's back then gently tap it with the closed fist of your other hand. They may also have abdominal tenderness.